Summer 2018 was particularly hot and dry in the eastern counties, making for an extremely early harvest and hard ground conditions. It's August 18th and in Essex, Jeremy Kiddy has already finished combining. He's ploughing up spring bean stubble today with a Caterpillar D6D SA variable horsepower and an extremely impressive 8 furrow fully mounted Dowdswell DP1. Two inches of rain has softened the ground and it's ploughing up in extremely good condition, crumbling nicely. Although this DP1 was originally produced as a seven furrow plough with 14 inch furrows, Jeremy converted it to an eight to work with the D6D as he explains. It would pull at eight, but so we put a double furrow on the back, extension, bolted that on. So in fact, we've got, um, which is here, double-ended extension so we added an eighth furrow like that. I took all the skimmers out to save weight and put trash boards on instead which I hadn't had before but they don't mind them actually they're not as good as a skimmer but they they do a fair job and the other thing we added was these weld on furrow splitters that leaves it a lot leveler and then you've got less work to do for second cultivations. I'm in fourth gear, doing about 1400 revs, that's all. Um, at Willpool there's plough in fifth on here, but that, that, is, that is too fast. You have got to be careful with that plough up in the air, turning on the headlands. If you um, start yanking that bow, that's gonna, you're gonna break something, because that linkage well, A, it's not designed to lift eight furrows for a start, and um, that, that's not the strongest linkage in the world by any means. Um, although we haven't, he says again, had any trouble with it, but you do have to be careful with it. At the same time, Stuart is using Jeremy's older D6D to pull up last year's tram lines in an adjoining field of wheat stubble.
The D6D first appeared in late 1977, with production taking place in America, Japan, Brazil, and later Scotland, where this 19X series tractor was built. It's powered by a 10.5 litre 3306 T engine, developing 140 horsepower. The trailed Cousins V-Form five-leg subsoiler is ideal for working with the D6D, which lacks a rear linkage. When in work, it runs on the wheels and rear coil roller. 